like a plate that I liked or a, or a mug or anything, and they were like 25 cents, I'd just buy it. Yeah. And then just over time, just accumulated like a <laughs> like a sick eclectic collection Mismatch, of, yeah, yeah, of everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Nothing matters. Whatever it takes. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Whatever yeah. it took. Like I was in the store and I'm like, I'm not dropping 50 bucks on a on a dish set. Like yeah. fuck that. Shit, yeah. no, I could drop yeah. 50 bucks and buy the whole section of pots of pans exactly. and shit from Goodwill. Shit. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Living punk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, we're sitting here with Justin right now, living punk. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anti-flag. You guys just had a set. Yeah. And it was fucking kick-ass. We watched Dope. it here. Sick. Um, and uh, so you guys been around what? How many years now? A long, a long time. time. A long time. I don't even know at this point, it's, but it, it feels like a lifetime. Yeah, it's been a long time because I remember listening to you quite a while ago. Yeah. I, I grew yeah. up with. Well, I'm. I'm I grew up with like uh, Dead Kennedys, Cold cool. Surfers, yeah. shit like that. Right. And then of course Black Flag came, and then you guys came, and, yeah. you know. And then it kind of just accumulated to all the whole punk scene. It's amazing the- that it's still going. Yeah. I mean, punk is like here, and it's for real, and it's like it's amazing that there's still a subculture of punk that's as strong and vibrant as it ever was when we started playing punk, which to me is really cool. Like it's. It's, it's a cool thing to see that there's an ethos and an idea to it and like yeah there's like a hairstyle or tattoos or a band shirt or whatever but there's so there's an ethos yes, to it is. which is really cool and I love that there's almost like this understanding of like what that ethos is like you're like oh they're into punk okay cool well they're probably like into human rights and being cool to people and you know like that that to me is like all right immediately like you know kind of what to expect which I think is cool right and and, and every when you people think of punk I was in I, I was stationed in Germany for for three okay. and a, two and a half years. Okay. And punk over there, it's huge. It's yeah, it's, it's always it's amazing. It's it, amazing. Yes, and I mean their their punk scene and their dress and everything is has yeah. been steady since probably the '60s. Well, what's amazing about the German punk scene is it really was like a squatter scene, but it was a really organized squatter scene where they took over buildings and when the police would try to kick them out, they were like, no, we're not leaving. And they would turn the building into like a community center. Yeah. And like, it's amazing, all these community centers and different things that are over in Germany now started out as punk squats. Yeah. And and because they, they had this idea about like, we're gonna go into a community and make it a better place. And, and the idea just too that like, there should be a place where people can exist as who they are and not have to be like every other person in society and that it's cool like especially at a time when like being gay wasn't okay or you know just being different wasn't okay they're like yo you can come here and as long as you're respectful to other people we're gonna respect you and like so that that's the thing about the German kind of punk scene that was really amazing and that ethos like over there it's incredible yeah and, and they take I mean even you know we walk down you know the mark lots and see a bunch of you know the punk guys standing out there and they never cared who you were or what you did or no what they're you like wore. come out come they're drink like, a hey, beer come check the, yeah, yeah. They would, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're like yeah come in here bitte yeah, yeah. beer and we're yeah. like oh yeah okay shit yeah you're like fuck yeah I like beer <laughs> yeah, yeah especially yeah. they're beer right I mean, yeah, yeah. Beer so awesome. definitely definitely oh, so good so, so there with you oh yeah so i mean it's been a while it, it's what going back thinking about how you got started what what yeah. got you started with the whole punk thing what what were some of the bands that yeah i mean you grew up with and said you know what i like their thinking i like right. what they're, they're saying well yeah and, it, and it's interesting that you were in the military because i i anti like really started out as an anti-war band and here's why so when we um First of all, just like how did I get into to music and that kind of thing. Really, like my brothers and sisters were a lot older than me. Some of them were in Europe. Some of them brought punk back with them. Um, when I was exposed to it, I was like, man, I can really relate to this. Like bands like Black Flag and the Dead Kennedys, uh, other bands like The Clash, uh, Black Flag, or I said Black Flag. But th- those are like my early punk bands that I found that really connected with me. And I was like, especially Social Distortion too. It was like. I was like, grew up in, you know, as a poor kid in a Rust Belt town in Pittsburgh. I mean, there wasn't a lot of opportunity and 
these bands were singing about things that I could really connect to and really relate to, especially because like I was a misfit, so it was like I didn't fit in quite right with everybody else. Plus, there just wasn't a lot of opportunity in our city, so it was kind of like, okay, these they, these bands are singing things that really connect with me. Then that was like, and and I loved the music because the music was exciting. Like you go to a show, like that was fucking dope. Yeah. Like the show was fun. <laughs> like you never knew what the fuck was gonna go off. It was it was sick, right? But then, like in Pittsburgh at that time, that was around the time of the first Gulf War. Yeah. So we had a lot of buddies who were just trying to have an opportunity. So a lot of them joined the military. They got sent over to Iraq, like, and by the end of it all, they were like, "This shit's fucked," you know. Yeah. They were like, "We didn't join up to go fight in a war that a lot of them, in the end, came to see as like an unjust war." They were like, "What the fuck was that? That yeah. just happened." So in my head, I was like, "Man, there's got to be." Like, ultimately, I knew they're good guys, I knew them, and they're in the military, and I'm like, what we can't trust are politicians. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and unfortunately, politicians choose where our soldiers go, like where these buddies of ours were going and what they were doing. So the really anti-flag in the end, as a result of that, the thing that really, because that was so close to home for us, we really became an anti-war band and that we wanted to make a statement against that and that was why we wrote Die for the Government. So Die for the Government, which was like our first record, that's where it came from. Okay, all right, you, and, it's funny you say that because that's what I was in Desert Storm. Shit, wow, yeah. there you go. Yeah, so we're and, probably right around the same age. For that yeah, reason, yeah, I'm 50. So, and, but, yeah, you're a little older than a little bit, yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. Um, but, yeah, we, um, when we, we were over there, what really pissed us off is we were 10 clicks from Baghdad. Right. And the UN said, no, all we're doing is liberating Kuwait. We're not to go to Baghdad. So the UN told President Bush to make his head south, and we had to go run checkpoints. After yeah. we got done fighting and doing all the shit they wanted us to do, they turned us south to go back down to Kuwait and get, and we were right there. I mean, yeah. we were right there. All we had to do was surround the city and then, I mean, it really pissed us. We did all this, you know, and for, it really pissed us off for nothing. You know, yeah. it really was it, because we wanted to go in and find him and just finish it. Be done. And they wouldn't let us. Well, yeah, and I, and I think ultimately, for me, my takeaway from that whole thing is, again, the rationale that ultimately it comes down to of why are politicians sending guys like you or lots of good young men and women overseas to fight in conflicts that usually are of politicians making, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure you could sit down with an Iraqi soldier and you guys would be good with each other, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and then, but unfortunately, you're shooting at each other. Yeah. And so that was sort of the, the goal that we really wanted to go with, with the band. And that's, it's obviously, there's lots of other issues that we've sung about over the years, but that ultimately is what sparked the band. Yeah. So what keeps you guys going now? I mean, it's been a long time. And yeah. like you said, we're about the same age. Now, my injury and my issues I have from the service but you know thinking about you know guys my age up on stage still doing what you're doing yeah how that do you stretch <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah well it, uh, yoga my no. my back is aching right now trust me <laughs> trust me however I will say you had a much harder job than me so I'm not gonna fucking complain about it you know I'm not fucking crying I mean uh, yeah I mean it's you know I think that um um, I, I, I honestly can hardly explain it. I think that it's what gives me hope in the world. Yeah. Because actually we get to come on and talk to people like you. And it's like that you, you meet all these great people out there. You realize like, I mean right now it's a fucking shit storm out there. Whatever side you're on, there's so many people just throwing shit at each other. Yeah. And, and you're like, you know, like you get out in the real world and you're like, you know what? Most people actually are pretty cool. Yeah. They're, they're, you know? What you see on TV and what's going yeah. on is not what's happening no, out here. No. It's really not. And, and even with people who I disagree with, when I have an opportunity to actually sit down and talk to them, we can actually find some common ground and realize that we've got a lot more in common. Yes. And so that gives us a lot of hope. And then we get to do a lot of really cool shit. I mean, we a lot of times like we'll have Greenpeace or Amnesty International, like 
you know, people fighting for things that I really believe in, like protecting the planet, yeah. helping political prisoners, fighting for, you know, equality for people and freedom of speech. I mean, it's amazing. Like when we do our own tours, we almost always take out one of those organizations. It's amazing to like um, work with an organization like Amnesty International who, that literally saves lives, you know? And people ask us a lot, like, how do I get involved in activism? I'm like, join Amnesty International. And just as a quick summary, what they do is if you're someone in, in another country and you make some kind of political speech that the government doesn't like and they grab you and they throw you in a hole somewhere, what, what Amnesty International does is they mount a ton of pressure on that government and they and wh how they do it is they ask members like people like me they say write a letter to this government about this person so I write the letter they take all those letters and they throw them at the government and they're like the whole fucking world's watching you we know you have this political prisoner we know that you for their freedom of speech you took it away you put them in a prison somewhere and now the whole world's watching you and that ends up saving lives which is amazing but it works and uh, um, so, and it's something that if you want to be involved in like doing something positive in the world that isn't like, doesn't take your entire life over, right. because we got to go to work, we got to, we got to live our lives, we got to take care of our kids, we got to go to school, whatever it is we got to do. I know we don't all have, uh, you know, we don't all have like a year or every day of our life to put into something. So this is something that in a reasonable amount of time, you can actually do something that can actually have an impact on another person's life. So I love Write a that. letter. Yeah. You just write a letter. That's yeah. all you got to do. Yeah. That's cool. That is really it cool. It is dope. So the, those are the kind of interactions that we have and we meet people who are doing that kind of work and that that's the kind of thing that makes me want to drag my ass out of the van in the morning and fucking go rock at two, two in the afternoon in the sun at Louder Than Light. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on after this? What are you guys, where are you guys heading? Well, we, we just finished making a new record, right. so that's dope, and um, that's going to come out in the new year, and um, so we'll be on tour in, in Europe to start off the new year, then we're going to go, uh, we're going to tour the U.S., and then from there we're looking at going wherever, whoever will take Anywhere us, and yeah, wherever we can be, and um, yeah, I'm excited to get out there and, and tour on this upcoming cycle, and you know, anytime you make a new record, like it's exciting because you, you're like, man, I, th I felt like I feel like we've written about everything, and then you sit down to write a new record, like, oh, here's an idea, like, and that's 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 really exciting when you like write something yeah. new and you're like, fuck yeah, we yeah. did it, you know? <laughs> well, with everything going on, there's a lot to write about right now. Yeah, it really is. I mean, yeah. with, you know, like you said, everybody, you know, out here, I mean, you can basically write. I mean, you could basically write a song about how. Everything on TV isn't what happens in the world. Good, you know, the world is different yeah, than what you see. You know, it, yeah. it really is. Yeah, and, absolutely. You know, the, you know the messages you guys put out. You know, because it's not just songs that you know maybe you've lived with something. It's it's something that it's a world. You know, thing that people can actually do, like you said, Amnesty International. You can, you know, you have you have an actual message that you can put out there, and it's not negative and whatsoever. And yeah, yeah, it is kind of funny because people look at the name and they're just like immediately like there is this adverse reaction for some people, and then they see the show and they're like, oh shit, that's not what I expected from right. the show. And like you know, for me, like we we're talking about like going to punk shows in the old days, like. The, one of the biggest things that attracted me to punk, other than the fact that I related to the message in it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we want our show to be a good time. Like you come to our show, you're gonna have fun, yeah. or you're gonna at least have the opportunity to, and you're going to feel like you can be yourself and that it's a safe place to go, at least in the, from the perspective of people are gonna look out for each other. I mean, one of the things that I did hate about in the old days of the punk scene, you would go to the show, you might get your ass kicked. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, it was like different back then. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like, if someone's being an asshole, people are like, yo, fuck off. Yeah. Like, you're gonna be that way, you need to get the fuck out. And that's, I think that that's a real positive because it's like, bullying is not tolerated in the punk scene. You know, right, and, right. and that was one of the things that drew me in. I was like, oh, this is cool. Like. You know, like somebody's picking on somebody for the way they look, that's fucked up. Like, yeah. and people were just like, nah, we're not gonna have that. Yeah. 
So that's that's like to me like when we do a show, those that's the environment we try to create. It's like, yo, you come here and you treat people cool, you can have a good time, and and that's what it's about for us, you know. Because nobody wants to go to a show and not have fun. Yeah, really. You know? no shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to go. You want to see the band. You want to meet new people. You want to have a good time. Yeah. And you know, and that's. I mean, nowadays, I think it more happens more, like you said. You can go to any show, you know, and be anybody you want, and nobody cares anymore. No, yeah. No, really, yeah. It really don't. Yeah. And that, it's great to see yeah. the, the, the rock world, the punk world, you know, just music scene. Yeah. You know, our genre come together. And That's one of the coolest, like, I think, evolutions of, like, music, I think, in the last, like, 10 years especially, where it's like... There, there's a lot of cro I think especially with festivals like this there's, there starts to be a lot of crossover and there's a lot less judgment of people just based on people are like so much more like yo you're not hurting anybody do whatever the fuck you want yeah you know and I, and I, that, I think that you know for again like when you get in the real world and you see that that's what we were talking about like the idea that there's actually a lot of positive in the world we may have different ideas about some different things but people are willing to, to accept you for being different if you want to be different as long as you're not hurting other yeah, people don't and, be an ass yeah yeah, yeah I know yeah, right? it's like asshole. fucking golden rule man yeah, shit's old as fuck <laughs> <laughs> no shit I mean you you, you, say, you talk about crossover hell we got ice cube tonight yeah I so mean, no it, so yeah. that is fucking awesome yeah I mean that, I grew up with NWA you know in the 90s oh, but yeah. I was over yeah. in Germany when they came out but yeah I mean the NWA um who else was back then Ice T yeah you know, all yeah. them and yeah. we all listen to everybody and yeah. you know in the army yeah. we all listen to all that just because yeah. we were all you know like in the army they tell you there's no color but green that's right it. yeah that's it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I, that's how you learn stuff Sick. so yeah love but it. I think we're getting the wrap up from your guy over there telling you I think you got another one going so <laughs> but no I can sit and talk to you all day man he's it like get the great. fuck out of here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up <laughs> But yeah, I mean, we can stay here and talk all day because totally. there is, I mean, like you said, the ethos, there's an ideology behind everything. And, and I like how, you know, the punk scene has always had that thought process of, you know, we need to bring things together, not bring them apart, you know. And, yeah, and, and do it yourself. You know, if there's something in the world you don't like and you see it, go after it. Yeah. You know, I mean, just like real fast, even though I'm being told I got to go. But, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I think is really fucking dope about like these climate activists right now, these young kids, they looked at it and they're like, yo, this is not being addressed. And we're not waiting for somebody to do it for us. We're not waiting for permission. We're going to do it. Yeah. And, you know, like, regardless of what side you may or may not come down on that, I happen to believe in the things they're saying. But I just respect them for their attitude of, like, yo, we're, we're going to do it. Yeah. And, you know, I respect that because, and to me, like, that's just punk as fuck. <laughs> and, and those kids are, uh, most of they ain't punk rockers. I no, mean, yeah. but, they probably but, don't even know what punk rock is, but right. they are. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's, that's a cool thing, for sure. All right, well, check them out. They got a new album coming out beginning of the year, you said. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, uh, your website. What's the website? Yeah, just check out antiflag.com. The antiflag.com. Get their shit, and uh, hopefully we'll see them on tour real Sick. soon. Thank you Thanks, very much. Buddy. I appreciate you know your it, time. We'll yeah. see you later. Louder than life. <laughs>